And you know, <laughs> uh, all through the years since I've given my heart to the Lord, He's done some mighty wonderful things in my life. But last week, this was one of the greatest. <laughs> uh, I can't tell you how many miracles He's performed with me, my family, and all that I had to do with. He has given us such marvelous, wonderful miracles in my life. Uh, you know, uh, Polly has uh, been asking the Lord to baptize him with the Holy Spirit. He's been doing that for a long time, and for a while he got a little discouraged. I kept encouraging him, you know. I said, this is the power that God wants to give you. He wants all of his children to be baptized with this power, with the evidence of speaking in tongues. He wants this. It's your gift. It's his gift to you. And I kept encouraging him and kept encouraging him. So he's been coming up to my place after his mother goes to bed and uh, about 9 o'clock, and we'd sit and talk about different things, but most of the time we talk about the Lord, how good He is, how much He's showing Himself around the world, who He really is, and how strong He's getting, you know, in this last day and age, how His people are letting their light shine. And we just got to talking, and all of a sudden it was just like a gem breeze. A sweet fragrance came into the room, and you know, I, I, I stopped, we were talking, and I stopped, and I looked at Polly, and I said, do you smell that? And he said, yes, I do. And we had no windows open, no doors open. It was late at night. And so we started talking again, and that fragrance came again. All we were doing was talking about the Lord and how good he is. And so all of a sudden, I couldn't help myself. I just raised my hands and began to speak in tongues and began to pray. And Polly was sitting over there with his head bowed praying. And I felt the urge to go over and lay my hands on Polly and pray for him. So I got up and I did. And I prayed and he prayed. And so we said, you know, after that, he was, he was okay for a while. Then he said, you know me, I think I'll go back down to the stairs and and he lived right across the courtyard from me. And he said, I think I'll just go, go on home. And I said, okay, sweetie. So I thought, hmm, I must have missed it, you know. When I went over and laid my hands on him, I must have missed God somewhere, you know, because I felt that urgency. And so the next day he called me early in the morning before he went to school. He said, guess what? I went home and started praying, and I was baptized with the Holy So was I. But you know what? I, I, I heard Benny Hinn teach about when you get into the presence of the Lord, there's a sweet fragrance that comes from Him. And I've never had that happen to me before. But that's the most wonderful experience. You know, when you smell the fragrance of Jesus and He's right there in your presence, He said, where two or three are gathered in my name, there am I in their midst. You can depend upon that. And His sweet fragrance will, will just bless you. He will show you who He really is and how much He loves you. And I just... I, you know, I, I'm just bubbling over. I just can't help it because I've never felt, felt the Lord before. <laughs> and it's so wonderful. It's so sweet. It's just a, it's just a wonderful fragrance. And I just, I just had to tell you people Amen. about this. So anyone that's seeking the baptism of the Holy Spirit, don't give up. Don't give up. You know what? He promises you that. You are His children. And He wants to give you that gift. So don't give up. And I just, I just praise the Lord. <laughs>